Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In this video, we'll be looking at the crossfeed control feature in Cinematic Rooms Professional from Liquid Sonics. So, what exactly is crossfeed and how is it useful? Well, if you imagine a post production mix where sounds are panning around a space, one of the things which can often make a reverb sound unconvincing is when the characteristics of the reverb don't change as the sound moves around the room. By that, I mean the level in the channels which are further away from the sound source, but also things like the delay and frequency roll off. Here's an example of me walking around a room with a concrete floor while talking. The session is set up for 5.1, and both the footsteps and my voice are sent to Cinematic Rooms Pro. To begin with, I haven't used the crossfeed controls, and I've set the reverb sends to follow the main panner, so the input of Cinematic Rooms will change as the panning changes. You'll see that reflected in the input levels. However, with no crossfeed control set, the output levels across all channels will initially be largely similar. I've deliberately added more reverb than normal for the sake of the demonstration. Here I am walking around a concrete room. I've panned the footstep sound effect and my voice to move around the 5.1 sound field and I've added reverb using Liquid Sonic Cinematic Rooms Pro. That's very similar to how the majority of surround reverbs work. Of course, you would get some sense of the sound moving around the room because it's panning, but the reverb would be quite unconvincing due to the fact that it remains unchanged as the sound moves around. Now let's set the crossfeed. Controls for this appear in both the reflection side of the plugin, over here on the left, and in the reverberation section on the right. For this example, I'll reduce the level of both by several dB, and I'll also adjust the roll off too. Now, when I play the recording again, you'll notice that the output levels do change as the sound pans, tracking the position much more naturally. So when listening in surround, it would be much easier to localize the sound and just a lot more realistic overall. Here I am walking around a concrete room. I've panned the footstep sound effect and my voice to move around the 5.1 sound field and I've added reverb using Liquid Sonic Cinematic Rooms Pro. Another aspect of the crossfeed feature which I found really useful is the delay. Coupled with the roll off and level controls, this allows you to simulate the acoustics of a real space by having the reverb which is in the channels further away from the sound source respond as it might do in a natural room, so slightly delayed, lowering level, and with a roll off when needed. Here I am walking around a concrete room, I've panned the footstep sound effect and my voice to move around the 5.1 sound field, and I've added reverb using Liquid Sonic Cinematic Rooms Pro. That's crossfeed control in Liquid Sonic Cinematic Rooms Professional. In my opinion, this is one of the best features of this plugin and something which really differentiates it from other reverbs when working in surround. In fact, it supports channel counts all the way up to 916 for Dolby Atmos. For more information, visit liquidsonics.com. Thanks for watching.